Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to show you how to program the CWF Dragon Driver V3. So, I have two flashlights here. These are both uh, Reaver Arm Citadels. Uh, I just sold this blue secondary light one. This red one is my keeper. And I just want to show you guys how to program this driver so that there's some content out there on it for people. Um, I have the card somewhere just so we have a reference. And uh, the Dragon Driver V3 is uh, was developed by Charles Wiggins, CWF Flashlights. So he also makes custom flashlights. And then he has this driver that he sells to other makers to put on their lights. And the key thing about the Dragon Drivers is it allows you to use secondary colors. So you get these triple emitters, with secondary colors and the Dragon Driver is one of the only ones that allows that or you know facilitates that. So that's why it's very popular. I've seen a few versions of this driver. Uh, like my CWF MicroClick has a similar one. I don't think it was actually called the Dragon Driver. I can't remember what it was called. There's the Quantum Dragon Driver, which I show, uh, I think, Actually, I don't think I made a video on that yet. I will make a video showing you how to program the Quantum Dragon Driver, which is very similar. It's basically an upgraded version. But this has red, blue, and green secondaries all built in, which is very cool. But anyway, the V3. So the way that you get into programming is by tapping 15 times really fast, okay? So... That's a tap. I want to make that clear right at the beginning here. A tap is when you go half click, right? On a forward clicky like this. So a reverse clicky would be different. But a forward clicky, you do a half tap is just cycling the mode. And then when I say click, I mean that. Full click. I don't think we'll have to click at all during this. But I just want to make those two things clear you'll do 15 taps to get into programming and then hold down. Don't click, hold down your tap. That would be a click. This is holding down your tap. Does that make sense? Um, once you get into programming mode, there's only five menus, all right? There's five menus you can go through. The first one is mode group select. So that's up here. That's where you can select one through nine, all right? Um, and there's all these different options. I'm going to show you that as we go through. Number two is memory on off. So when you do mode group select, you go into a sub menu where you then select one of nine, right? So you do 15 taps into program, then you go into select one, then you have to select one of these nine things. Does that make sense? Program, menu one, and then you're in the mode group select menu. It's a sub menu. With memory on off, there's no sub uh, menu. You literally just go into programming, you select two, and then that's it. Your memory's on or off, right? It switches. Um, the third is mode order forward backward. So if you wanted, say, this group where it was seven, you got moonlight 5%, 15%, 35%, 50%, 100%. 100%. But let's say you wanted that backwards. Well, now it would be 100%, 50%, 35, 15, 5, moonlight would go backwards. That simple. That, again, is just going to be on, off, forward, backward. Number four is temperature calibration mode. I never mess with that, but so I'm not going to do it, but you'll know how to program by the end of this, and then you can do it if you want. But essentially, it just lets you set the temperature so that you basically do it. You go into program. You go to, to group four here. And then you let it get hot. It'll turn on turbo or something. And you let it get hot. And once it gets to a temperature that you think it should shut down at, you let go. And then it will set that temperature. And then anytime you use the light, if it gets to that temperature, it will step down. 
It won't turn off. I think it just steps down brightness so that it cools down. But I just leave that at default. Um, and then the fifth one is to turn on and off reverse mode, okay? Reverse mode is where you do this sort of like, um, you do this like one second press and then another one second press and then you, you hold a tap again and then it goes through three modes, a strobe, a battery check, and a beacon. And um, you can see all that kind of described here, reversing options. It says one slash two second press. It's very confusing. I don't know what the heck that means. Um, but basically, it means you do, um, I guess, half second press or I don't know, two second presses. I don't know. I'll show you how to do it, though. Um, and then see, it says turbo strobe battery check bicycle strobe i've never actually seen it go to turbo so we'll see i always get strobe right away but i could be maybe i i always think it doesn't work or something i don't know we'll see but we're gonna do all this so that way you guys know all right so we're gonna start with um right now like i said i have it in low secondary high secondary 15 and 100 all right so that is mode group five so let's change this guy to default, which is mode group one. All right, mode group one. So what we have to do is go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go to 15 and then hold my tap. And then I need to have it go to this menu and I need to select number one from this menu so that I get mode group select, all right? And the way it works is it goes into programming. I'm gonna show you right now, actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. Once it cuts off, now I'm holding down. Now you see how it does a blink and then a flash, okay? And that was two blinks, now three. So now that is letting you select one through five to select which menu you wanna go into. So I'm gonna let this, once it goes through five, it's gonna cut off. All right, so now it just went back to whatever I was on. So th that's how you go into programming, and then it blinks one time and then strobes, right? Blinks twice and then strobes. Blinks three times, then strobes. It does that all the way through five. And what you do is you let off your tap and then hold back down once the strobe starts. So let's say you want mode group select. You're gonna go into programming, and then it's gonna do the flash, one flash, and then strobe. During that strobe, after the flash, you just let go and press again. And then it's gonna go right into mode group select, and then it's gonna blink nine times. One, two, three, four, five. And you have to let go on the one you want. It happens real fast. That's why this uh, driver can be a little confusing to people. As soon as you get into mood, mode group one, it's gonna start one, two, three, and you have to let go right away. So I'm gonna put it into, uh, I'm gonna actually select mode group seven, just so you guys can see. Because if I do one, it's gonna happen so fast, you're not even gonna be able to tell. So I'm gonna do 15 taps and then hold. Then I'm gonna see it go one blink and then strobe. And I'm gonna let go and hold during the strobe. Then I'm gonna wait till the seventh light and then let go again and then we're going to end up with moonlight 5 15 35 50 and 100 okay so what was it seven okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. hold let go hold three four five six seven let go so now we should have moonlight 5 15 35 and 50 moonlight 5, 15, 35, 50, and 100, all right? So what I did was I went into programming, I let it blink once and then strobe, and I let go, and then I held my tap again so that I went into mode group select, and then I waited for the seventh blink, and I let go. But you can see how fast it happens. So if you want to go to mode group one, you need to let go instantly. Like, you have to do this.
right? I had to do that so fast. And let's see if I got it. You're going to get low secondary, high, moonlight, 5, 15, 35, 50, and 100. Yep, got it. So it happens real fast. But once you know what you're doing and you know which numbers to go for, it's easy. But I'm trying to choose the longer ones so that you guys can see the process play out. So that's how you set up mode groups, right? Now, let's say I want to turn memory on because I have it off right now, right? Memory is where I turn on a mode. So I have Moonlight on right now. And I wait a second for it to register, turn it off. And then if you wait longer than five seconds, it resets, right? So now you're going to start from the beginning of your cycle again. But if you have memory on, Moonlight would just come right back on. Well, I don't. I have it off. It always starts back at uh, the first mode, which is low secondary in this case. Okay? Um, and I think it's a five-second cooldown. So, like, watch. If I do this, and then one, two, three, I'm still cycling. Right? Um but if you wait one, two, three, four, five, now it starts back at low secondary. So if you want to be able to have memory, you have to do uh, select menu two, and that's going to just be on off. There's nothing else after that. So you don't have to do a whole lot. So I'm just going to tap 15 times and then wait for the second two, the two flash and then uh, strobe, and then let go on the strobe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. Wait for it to kill. All right, that's one. One, two, flash, let go. And now we have memory back on. So just for reference, here's, I don't know, 5%. Let it lock in. I'll let go. I'm going to set it down for more than five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And now that will come back on. Okay, here's high, make sure that it locks in, click off, wait five seconds, and now we'll get high again, all right? So that's memory. Um, the mode order, forward, backward, is number three. So you would just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, till it stops blinking, hold down. That's one, that's two, one, two, three, we want that one, okay? So we just turned it to backward modes. So now it should go from high to low. See how it's going high to low? It's going backwards now. 100%, 50, 35, 15, five, moonlight, high secondary, low secondary. So that's what that does. Um, and then four is temperature control. Like I said, I'm not going to mess with it because that's something that's really hard for me to set back to what I like, which is just default. And I don't know, there's no uh, factory reset that I know of. So, uh, but you get the idea. You would tap 15 times, hold, wait for the four blinks and strobe, let go on the strobe and then hold back down. And then it would probably go into turbo and then it, you would wait till it got to the temperature and then you let go and that would set it so the last one here is reverse mode on off i have it off right now and basically what you do is you hold like this let go hold like this let go and then hold again and then it goes into that mode um which starts with turbo then it does a strobe then a battery check and then it does a beacon and you have to let go and then tap each time and hold to get to see it. So I'm just going to turn it on so you can see what it is. We're going to have to go all the way to the, the fifth menu here. So we just got to hold for a while here. One, two. So if I wanted memory on off, I would have done that. If I wanted reverse options, I would have done that. If I wanted temperature control, I would have done this. And this is the one I want two, three, four, five, strobe. Okay, so now we have that reverse option on. I always turn this off because these are the kinds of things I accidentally do, and then I think my light's mixed up, messed up, or I accidentally turn strobe on in the middle of the night because I'm just like not paying attention. 
And I just like to have it be pretty simple. So what you do is you, you start with your, uh, you want it off, right? You don't want it in between any cycles or anything. So you just want it for five seconds. You want it to not touch it. And then you do a sort of like, they say one second. I do two Mississippis, let go for two Mississippis, hold back down for two Mississippis, let go again, and then hold down. And that third time, you'll start the cycle. And then you got to let go and hold for the next to go to strobe, to go to, okay? So hold down, let go, hold down, let go, hold down. And see, it always goes right to strobe for me. And then I'm going to let go and hold down again. And now we're going to get battery check. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got nine out of ten there on battery. And then this is your beacon. And then I guess this is turbo. And then we're back to where we were. I, I, I'm not sure if that last one was turbo or just we went back to our normal mode. But I've never gotten the turbo. It, it says right here it starts with turbo, but I never get the turbo. So I don't know. Maybe that first one is turbo. Like maybe one, two, off, one, two. Maybe that one is turbo right? I don't know. But here's strobe, off, back check. You just count the checks or the blinks. So we had nine and it's out of 10, I guess. And then you get the beacon and you can click on whichever one you want. If you click it on, it'll stay on. This is for bicycle beacon. So if you were riding a bike or something, sorry, strobe warning there. Uh, but I don't love that mode because I accidentally do it. I'm just like, See, I didn't ask for that. It's See, it has memory on right now. So it's going to keep doing that. If I wait five seconds, it's going to keep doing that. So I, I just don't like that. Uh, I like it to be simple. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to program this bitch back to where I had it. And then that'll wrap it up. I think that explains the driver pretty well. Hopefully you guys saw me do these things enough um, for it to make sense. So the first things I'm going to do is... I'm going to go through the orders here and set up everything I like. So I like mode group select and I want, usually I like number five, which is low secondary, high secondary, 15 and a hundred. Let me see if I can find anything else I want. Um, the only other one I would like is maybe, ah, uh, man, four or even number, uh, Two has low, high, 5, 15, 35, and 100. Eh. I mean, that's better than all these other ones. But Moonlight is useful, right? I wouldn't mind that. So I'd rather have Moonlight than 5%. And I'd rather have 50 than 35. So it just makes it tough. It's really hard to find the one you really like. So I usually end up going back to 5, you know. Uh, I don't see a benefit here other than I get 35% in there, but I don't really want 5%, I don't think. So I'm going to go back to 6 for now, and if I change it again later, maybe which, all right, whatever. I'll do 2, and then I'll see how I like that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oops, hold. Okay, 1, let go. 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. So I missed it. I wanted two, right? Should go through again. One, two, off. All right. So now I should have low. Oh, shit. We still have memory. God damn. I hate memory so much. Hold on. So we should have uh, low. Oh, and we have reverse order set up. Jesus. Okay. So I'm just going to not, I'm going to, I'm going to hope I got that right. Let's turn off reverse mode first. So that's, or memory, that's number two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's okay. You're going to mess up. So one, two, blink, let go. So that was memory. Memory's off now. Now I want to change reverse order. Well, let me just show you memory's off. This is really high. Right, and I'm going to cut it off, and we should come back on turbo. All right, let me go low so that we can make sure. 
So this is a low one, 15 or five. Wait five seconds. And then when I kick on, we should get turbo. Yeah, okay. So memory's off. Now we need to turn off reverse order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight, 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 fifteen. So one, two, and then three, let go on the strobe. I always click again or do a half or a tap again, but you don't have to. So reverse order should be off now. We should start with low secondary, then high, then five, 15, 35, and 100. Back to low secondary, all right? So we have all that on or off. Now I need to turn off reverse mode because I really don't like this. I just hate it. I really do. I hate it. Feels like I skipped something there, didn't I? I don't know what happened there. Anyway. Oh, it was turbo. See? So it is turbo, guys. So this let go. The second one is turbo. So it does do turbo. Then strobe. Then bat check. Then beacon. Huh. I never actually noticed the turbo. Probably because... I don't know why. But I never noticed the turbo. That comes on pretty quick. So it's really... Oh, see, I didn't do it right there. And you have to do it from your first mode. So you got to wait five seconds, cool off, right? Then press and hold, let go, press and hold, let go. There it is. I don't know why I didn't get it that first time, but... So, I don't know. I don't really need any of those. I can get to turbo by going to 100%. I don't use strobes or bicycles a lot. Because the problem is that I do this, right? I'm like, okay, what do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do. And then, boom, I'm into these. And then I'm like, ah, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, ah, shit, strobe. I really wanted to just keep cycling. So let's turn that off. Hold. And now we're just going to wait till the fifth group. Two. Strobe, one, two, three, strobe, one, two, three, four, strobe, one, two, three, four, five, strobe. And I always recommend if you screw up, just keep holding, <laughs> just keep holding that tap until it goes like just clears out. Um, because if you just let go in the middle of something, you might set it to something you don't want to set or you don't even know what you did. And then you're just like, oh boy, you know? Um, yeah. So now we have mode group two, right? We have no memory. Off. One, two, three, four, five. We have no memory. We don't have reverse anything. This shit is off. There's no turbos coming on. I mean, it's just simple for me, and I like it. So that's how that one's set. This one right here, ah, oh, it's nice and cold. Um, this one's low, high, and then uh, 15 and 100. And it also does not have any of those crazy modes and it also does not have memory so there we go those are both good to go now fantastic light the reaver arm citadel but there's your uh tutorial on the dragon driver v3 let me know if i missed anything uh let me know if you have any questions or anything um, that should get you most of the way there uh, if you're struggling with it. I hope this helps. Um, I'm just trying to make these videos for people who, you know, um, I, I couldn't find them myself. So I just wanted to have them out there. So I love you guys. Thank you for checking out the video. And I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.